standing at six foot four, a point guard from Southern Illinois. Drafted in 1967 by the New York Knicks, he would go on to become a seven-time All-Star, two-time champion, and a Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Famer. Ladies and gentlemen, Pink Diamond Walt Fraser. He's one of the absolute best point guards in my team right now with a slow but excellent jump shot, great handles, elite passing vision, and of course, lockdown defense. For the last two episodes of this No Money Spent series, he's played some excellent basketball on both ends of the court, which is exactly what you need from a starting point guard, possibly the most important position in basketball today. Walt Fraser is a legend and he's a tough act to follow, but our starting shooting guard may be just as polarizing as Fraser, believe it or not. At the shooting guard position, this man averaged 21 points per game across 14 NBA seasons. He was a six-time All-Star, 2002 NBA champion, and just like Fraser, he's a basketball Hall of Famer. I call him Money Mitch, but you guys might know him better as Mitch Richmond. This man is an absolute sniper from downtown. Ever since his debut in the fourth episode of this series, he's been lights out. It seems like he never misses when he gets an open three, and to make things even tougher on the opposing defense, he can also handle the ball and drive to the rim with the best of them. Mitch Richmond is the other half of our star-studded backcourt. He's one of the best shooters in the game, and if any defense leaves him open, Mitch will be ready to make them pay every time. Now moving on to the small forward position, they call him Big Dog. If you've played draft mode and won all 10 games, there's a great chance that you stumbled upon this beast of a card, Pink Diamond Glenn Robinson. Just like Mitch Richmond, Glenn Robinson averaged over 20 points per game for his entire career. The man simply excelled at putting the ball in the basket, and that's exactly what he's been doing for my team through the first seven episodes of this series. He's a two-time All-Star, a 2005 NBA champion, and in today's video, he's gonna get a lot of reps as my team's starting small forward. His jump shot is quick, super easy to green, he's got insane dunk packages, and he's one of the best defensive players on this entire team. Glenn Robinson, Walt Fraser, Mitch Richmond, that's a deadly trio of players who can handle the ball, knock down jump shots, and play some defense, but our front court might be just as deadly, albeit for different reasons. The Computer Did you guys know that Jerry Lucas' nickname is The Computer? No? Cool, neither did I. Pink Diamond Jerry Lucas is our starting power forward, and despite standing at only 6'8", this man is an absolute killer in the paint. He's a rebounding machine and excellent post defender. Of course, I gotta mention that he's a great post scorer, and most surprising of all, he has an 87 three-point shot along with a super quick release, which in my mind, makes Lucas one of the most elite, well-rounded big men in NBA 2K22. He's an NBA champion, a seven-time All-Star, a Hall of Famer, and five-time All-NBA. Based on the way that Jerry Lucas dominated the NBA, it's no surprise that he's one of the best, yet most underrated big men in my team right now. Last, but most certainly not least, our starting center is Amethyst Serge Ibaka. Wait, Serge Ibaka? Are you kidding me? Didn't we add some new guy to the team? Starting at the center position and standing at 7 foot 1, he played 14 seasons in the NBA, he led the league in scoring 7 times, he won 2 championships, scored 100 points in the game one time, and was inducted to the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame in 1979. Ladies and gentlemen, Pink Diamond Wilt Chamberlain. Wilt Chamberlain was the missing piece of this Pink Diamond puzzle, man. Wilt is the best Pink Diamond center in the game right now, and if you want him, you have to go 12-0 in my team unlimited. Walt Frazier is great, Mitch Richmond is great, all my Pink Diamond players are great, but I'm so excited to use Wilt for the first time in this video. Guys, we have a full Pink Diamond starting lineup for the first time this year, and it's only been three weeks of NBA 2K22 my team, that's crazy. In today's video, we're gonna go online and play some unlimited with this Pink Diamond starting five we're probably gonna have to sweat in every game but i don't care let's hop online let's play some games with this team i'm super excited to get this gameplay started man you guys sit back relax enjoy the new video and of course don't forget to drop a like for me if you haven't already now let's get it 
Right off the bat, I'm giving the ball to Wilt. He's being guarded by Dwight Howard. Can we score on Dwight Howard? The answer is yes we can, easily. That first shot from Wilt was way too easy. I know he's a post scoring machine, but wow. He made that look way too easy. I'm giving that ball right back to Wilt Chamberlain. That first bucket was way too easy, and we're scoring again! Wilt Chamberlain with a slam! A quick four points for Wilt Chamberlain, man. We're making it look easy right now. Nice block right there, too. Great defensive possession, but foul? Seriously? I thought that was perfect defense, but I guess not. All right, Mitch Richmond's wide open. I told you guys, he never misses a wide open three. Let's keep on feeding the ball to Wilt Chamberlain, man. He's got a mismatch. I'm lobbing it up to Jerry Lucas. Beautiful pass from Wilt. Don't forget, he led the NBA in assists one time. Wilt can score, Wilt can pass, he can rebound. He can do pretty much everything, but I'm trying to score some points with him, man. Mitch Richmond's open. I think this guy's playing his own defense, so someone's gonna be open every time down the court. This time it's Walt Frazier. He knocks it down from the left wing. Our jump shots are falling. We're playing some solid defense. This guy's not getting too much of anything easy, but we did foul him on that three-pointer, which kind of sucked. Fast break time. We got numbers. I'm lobbing to Will Chamberlain, man. Will Chamberlain has a quick six points, and we get a quick win. Yeah, I had a feeling that game wasn't going to last much longer. 1-0 and oh to start off this video with the pink diamond starting lineup. We were dominant in that game. We were hitting open threes. We were playing great defense. Will Chamberlain was looking like an absolute beast. He was dominant in game one. And in game two, Wilt's going to be tested, man. This is going to be a big game for Wilt. This game, he's guarding Shaq. This guy's got Shaq. He's got LeBron, Dwayne Wade, Darren Williams. This guy's team is loaded, but y'all know I'm not worried. This is looking like it should be a pretty interesting game. And this guy might actually not quit before the end of the first quarter. I know you guys would love that. I know you guys would love to see somebody stay past the first quarter because we get so many quits in these videos. Actually, in the last Unlimited video, we didn't get many quits. I think it was episode six. We played like two or three full games. Guys just weren't quitting, but maybe this guy will if we keep on getting mismatches in the paint. Will Chamberlain throws it down. We're off to a strong start. And I know earlier I said this guy has a really good team, but the fact that he has Shaq is a little bit of a liability because I don't have the guard Shaq's three-point shot or anything like that because is non-existent. If he had all five guys who can shoot, he would be 10 times harder to guard, but we're getting stops, we're getting some buckets, we're running the fast break, we're just making it look easy right now. Yeah, defensively, we're off to a great start. He's not getting many open shots. Wow, how'd he make that? I thought I was right there with Jerry Lucas, but I guess that was wide open. All right, speaking of wide open, I meant to pass that ball to Wilt. Eh, Wilt still got the ball anyway. Wilt throws it down. Dude, I was trying to give the ball to Jerry Lucas, and then Icon passed to Wilt, but I guess I accidentally shot the ball? I mean, that's still a free bucket for Wilt, a free rebound. Let's see if we can get a bucket right here. Let's move that ball. Lane's open for Mitch Richmond. Oh, terrible animation, but we'll take the two. Either way, we still got the points. We still have a pretty good lead right now, but this guy's got some good shooters. He's got some good defenders, some good athletes, so I gotta make sure I just stay strong in the first quarter and don't do anything dumb like that. Let's run some pick and roll. Actually, Wilt's wide open. He's playing a really weird defense that's forcing me to move the ball, but the middle is wide open every time. Will Chamberlain's now got six points, and you see that pass I made right to the paint? Y'all saw that pass I made straight to Wilt? That's what I was trying to do with Jerry Lucas instead of shooting that three. Oh, how'd he make that? Let's just keep on doing what we're doing. Let's keep on pounding the middle. Wilt Chamberlain has takeover. We have a good lead, but we gotta be better guarding the paint. We can do a lot better than this. Dude, once again, we have the mismatch. Darren Williams guarding Wilt Chamberlain. Darren Williams falls over and Wilt scores. Wilt with another big game already, and it's just the first quarter. He's got 10 points, three rebounds. He's playing some great defense in the paint, but we gotta get more stops. We gotta extend this lead, and we gotta stop fouling. One second left in the quarter and he gets free throws but it's all good we still have the lead we're gonna have the lead at the end of the quarter but i would have loved to have a seven point lead instead of just six to start the second quarter let's give that ball back to wilt he's being guarded by mitchell robinson and he's been going off so far wilt chamberlain is a machine wilt chamberlain is an absolute post scoring machine so i gotta keep on feeding him the ball if he's not going to double team, if he's not going to foul, I'm just going to keep on scoring like that. Easy layup every time. Wilt again. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so free. So free. Freer than a public restroom. I know Wilt's getting tired, but I'm going to keep him in the game. Actually, I don't know. I don't want Wilt to get injured, but 
He's been awesome. He's got 16 points. I think just for safety, I'm going to take Wilt out of the game. Let's sub in Serge Ibaka. I almost forgot he was on the team. Wilt has been so good today that I almost forgot about Serge Ibaka. Walt Fraser drives in. That's going to be an easy dunk. Man, we're just getting easy layups, easy dunks every time down the court. We're shooting 72%. Now, we could be doing better on defense. We could be blocking more shots, getting more steals, but I still like the way we're playing. We just got to contest more shots like that, and let's keep on running the fast break. Maybe I can get this guy to quit before halftime. Our offense has been flowing, man. We have 32 points, which is really good. On defense, though, we got to do better. He's just getting right by the basket. We got to start blocking those shots. In back-to-back -back possessions, we block two shots. That's got to encourage this man to stop driving to the rim. That was 95% smothered, and he still made it. This guy's post spinning. Nice drive by LeBron, but we blocked that. We blocked that twice. At the end of the first half, we played some awesome defense. We have an eight point lead. Our defense hasn't been the best so far this game, but these past two or three minutes, we've been blocking shots, running the fast break. We have 34 points, which is great, but this guy was getting to the paint way too easily. Let's see if we can keep up the strong defense to begin this half. Speaking of strong defense, ML Carr's wide open. ML Carr scores his first points with the team. He didn't get the chance to play last game because the guy quit in the first quarter, but ML Cars actually got a nice three-point shot. Great defense by Wilt. We should have blocked that, but LeBron's going to the line. And this guy's about to take the lead, man. I kind of let my guard down. This guy's really about to take the lead. It's all good, but we need a bucket right now. He's double teaming again. Wilt has a mismatch. This should be an easy bucket. And if he double teams, I'm going to find the open shooter. Wilt had an awesome debut. He's low-key carrying the team. He's scoring in the paint so easily. And we're right by the basket. That's going to be another easy layup. This has become a pretty close game. I like the way we're playing, but this guy's pretty good. We're not getting as many open shots this quarter. His defense has definitely stepped up. Our defense hasn't been bad either, but he's getting to the paint way too easily. But speaking of getting to the paint easily, let's give that ball back to Will. Eh, he's leaving my shooters open, but I want to score with Wilt. If he double teams, I'll make the pass, but let's just keep on scoring in the post. This is Wilt Chamberlain's debut video, so I gotta put on a show with him. That's the golden rule, man. If it's your debut video, I gotta go insane with you. Nice block with Wilt. Great rebound, too. It's fourth quarter time, man. This is where it all counts. This is for all the marbles right here. In the first half, we were in control, but this guy took control in the third quarter. We were going back and forth. Speaking of back and forth, let's retake the lead right here. Mitch Richmond with a huge shot. We were playing great in the first half, but then this man flipped the switch and he just completely turned things around. Great defensive possession, but of course he draws the foul. Now he's gonna tie this game, even though we played perfect defense. It's no big deal. Let's get the lead back right here. Let's give that ball to Wilt and let's go down to the post. Actually, he's double teaming. Actually, I'm wide open. Never mind. Forget about the double team. 24 points for Wilt Chamberlain. 67% shooting. He's been great this video, man. Come on, Wilt. Let's block this shot. Great defense. Hey, we didn't get the block, but that was still awesome defense. That's exactly what we needed right there. We got a stop on defense. Now we need a score. Glenn Robinson from the corner. We're back up by five. This guy's played well, but we're finally starting to get some separation. LeBron drives in. Will Chamberlain sends it back. Oh my gosh. Will Chamberlain just swoops in out of nowhere and slaps the heck out of that shot. More good defense. Good rebound by Will. We got numbers, man. Let's run this fast break. Mitch Richmond's open. That should be the dagger, man. We're running the fast break. We're getting out in transition and we're knocking down some threes. Will Chamberlain's blocking shots. We're playing great interior defense. I feel like that should have been a block too. Of course, after I talk about our great interior defense, Wilt blocks that shot. That's just, that's just perfect. You can't make this stuff up, man. Wilt Chamberlain's running. Oh, I wanted the dunk, but it's okay. We'll take the layup. 26 points, 10 rebounds for Wilt Chamberlain. This man is just a beast. If we score one more time with Wilt, we have 30 points. That's a tough shot. Good rebound though. Let's give it back to Wilt. One more bucket, Wilt. Ah, we still only need one more bucket. Let's see if I can get right by the basket. Come on, Wilt. One more bucket and you have 30 points. 30 points, 10 rebounds for Wilt. Oh, I could have stolen that. We could have gotten another dunk, but hey man, 30 points, 10 rebounds is a huge debut for Wilt. Well, this isn't his debut, but this is his debut video, game two of his debut video, and we got the win. We played the entire game. This guy didn't quit. 
and we got the job done. What a game from Wilt, man. 30 points, 10 rebounds, 5 blocks is a crazy stat line. 15 for 24 is not bad. Three of those misses were at the end of the game when I was trying to get 30 points, but he played an awesome game. Mitch Richmond, also good. 5 for 5 from the field and 3 for 3 from downtown. 10 points for Glenn Robinson. Pretty good team effort, pretty good win, and we are moving on to the next one. Will Chamberlain has looked unstoppable in the first two games of this video. Of course, in game one, we only played like, what, three minutes? In game two, though, we played the entire game, and Will put up monster stats. 30 points, 10 rebounds, five blocks is crazy. And this guy's got Sapphire Kareem, what the heck? If this guy is using Sapphire Kareem, I gotta destroy this man with Wilt Chamberlain. We're gonna take him right down to the post, and we're gonna throw it down. Sapphire Kareem's not bad, but he does not compare to Pink Diamond Will. This guy's got an interesting assortment of players. He's got Pink Diamond Glenn Robinson, he's got Amethyst Kawhi Leonard, those are two of the best forwards in the game, and then he's got Sapphire Kareem. That makes no sense. I'm not gonna judge him though, but I feel like if he can get Kawhi Leonard, he can definitely get a better center than Sapphire Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I don't know though. Let's take it down to that post again, and if he double teams, I'll pass out, I'll find the open shooters. Great rebound, but we shouldn't have missed the first time. Last game, Wilt scored 30 points. This game, I want 40 with Wilt Chamberlain. He's got six already. If you guys are getting tired of watching Wilt score, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna keep on feeding him the ball because he's beasting in the paint every single time. He's been absolutely unstoppable. All right, Wilt, where are you? Where are you, Wilt? We're running right down the middle. Wilt with the layup and the foul. That's a big bucket right there by Wilt. He's got 14. Make that 15 points. I know we're being guarded by Sapphire Kareem and Mitchell Robinson, but give me a break. Last game, we were being guarded by Shaq. Shaq, Tim Duncan. That guy had two really good centers and Wilt was still going insane. Wilt Chamberlain had an awesome first half, but as a team, we did not. We're down by three right now. I low-key didn't even notice, but let's make sure we win this game. This is not a must-win game because we already have Wilt. We've already gone 12-0, but we can definitely be doing better than this. While Wilt's resting, let's actually move the ball. Let's get open shots. Let's start shooting some threes. Let's just play better than we did in the first half because that first half was trash. If we can take the lead early this half, that would be awesome. Serge Ibaka finishes, and just like that, we're back in front. Let's clutch up. Let's get this win, and then I gotta update my game. Nice slam by Gus Gerard. We've been getting some great shots to begin the second half. Let's see if Wilt can pick up right where he left off in the first half. And he does. Wilt is carrying our offense, but we're still down by three, so let's actually start getting some stops on defense. Great closeout right there. Nice rebound by Wilt. Let's get a good shot right here. Wilt is running the floor. Wilt throws it down. This man is grabbing rebounds and then running the entire length of the floor to get the dunk. That is awesome right there, man. That's dedication. That shows me Wilt wants this win. Wilt has got what it takes to lead us to this win. Let's just keep on playing defense. Awesome steal by ML Carr. I want to shoot the fast break three, but once again, Wilt is running the length of the court. Okay, Wilt, this should be an easy bucket. Wilt again, 29 points. Like I said, we could score 40 this game. 30 points for Wilt last game, 29 through three quarters this game. He has been dominant. Early in this game, we were in a pretty big deficit, but now the game is tied. Going into the fourth quarter, I know you guys are on the edge of your seats right now. In No Money Spent Episode 5, we played some really close unlimited games, some really sweaty unlimited games. This is looking like it's going to be another one of those games, so you guys sit back, relax, and get ready for the fourth quarter. That quarter three was not a great way to start things out, but we can score ourselves every single time. We can feed that ball to Wilt every single time, and we're going to get our fair share of stops on defense. Speaking of stops on defense, we could really use one right now. We're right there. We're collapsing. We're not giving up any open shots. Great defense. Great defense. Yeah, we're right there. Great defense. We need to stop on defense right now. We're down by three. We're right there. Great steal by Wilt. Oh yeah, this is going to be a fast break bucket for Mitch Richmond, baby. Game three is coming down to the wire. This game's been a lot closer than I expected, but Mitch Richmond can give us the lead. Mitch Richmond with a huge shot from the corner. We need a bucket right here, right now. Mitch Richmond, another three-pointer. Mitch Richmond's going absolutely insane. Huge three-pointers, back-to-back possessions. He led by eight points in the first half, but we've been super clutch in the second half. Let's just slow things down, and let's run some pick-and-roll for Wilt Chamberlain. He's been huge this game, so let's give him that ball one more time. He's double-teaming. Wait, no, he's not. Easy layup. 
33 and 10 for Wilt, another double double. Not quite 40 points, but still a very good game for Wilt Chamberlain. He's played great defense, he's been awesome on offense, and we have a three point lead, so let's not give up any open threes. He can have the two pointer. Oh my gosh, full court inbound pass. Wilt Chamberlain, oh gosh, oh gosh. Wilt Chamberlain free throws. I wanted the dunk, but free throws, oh no. We need to make one. We gotta make at least one. So now a three-pointer wins it. We need a stop on defense right now. Oh gosh, guys, this is nerve-wracking. Why did I give the ball to Kareem to shoot free throws? Oh, he greens it, oh my gosh. We need a timeout. We're down by one, six seconds left. This game has been way closer than I expected. This guy is really good, but we have the better team. We should have won this game earlier. I shouldn't have given the ball to Wilt for the free throws, man. I was gonna try and dunk with him, but I didn't get the animation off. And now with six seconds left, we have the ball with a chance to win the game. I'm giving that ball to Wilt Chamberlain, man. We're going down to the post. We're going down to the post. Wilt Chamberlain makes a huge layup with 1.6 seconds left. Is he gonna call a timeout? Yes, he does. We have the lead by one with 1.6 remaining, man. Whew! My heart is pounding. My heart's pounding. I'm nervous, but on the surface, we're calm and ready. Who's he gonna go to for the game winning shot? He shouldn't have time to get a good shot. I'm gonna double team. We're right there. He's not gonna get a shot, and we're gonna win this game by one point, baby. Thrilling one point win. Wilt Chamberlain makes the game winning shot. 30 points last game, 35 this game. It was only fitting that Wilt Chamberlain be the hero in this game. I gotta be honest, man. My heart is still pounding. That was a thrilling, thrilling game. Wilt Chamberlain, 36 points, 10 rebounds. He shot the ball a lot, but to be fair, I was trying to do that. 10 points for Richmond, four for four. He hit some huge threes in the fourth quarter. Eight assists for Walt Fraser. My gosh, man, this was a thrilling game. We were down by eight points early in that game, but we came back and got the win. It doesn't get more clutch than that. Real quick, let's get this thing off my screen. Let me go update my game and then we'll play one more to end this video. I honestly don't know if my heart can take one more game because that game was thrilling. It was way closer than it should have been. We've played some pretty close games in this episode of No Money Spent, man. Let's play one more game with the Pink Diamond Squad. Let's get one more win and then we'll wrap up this video for good. All right, guys, final game, win or lose. This guy's got Artis Gilmore, Jason Terry. We're not getting some very good matchups today. This guy's got Kevin Martin, Trey Young. Yeah, I don't know what's up with matchmaking, but we've only gotten one really good game versus a really good team. Of course, last game was really good. That guy was a beast, but in this game right here, starter Trey Young, Michael Porter Jr., these matchups we're getting are kind of weird, especially considering we're in the Galaxy Opal tier. Let's post spin though. Wilt Chamberlain, oh, come on, Wilt. I know this should be an easy win, but come on, Wilt. Don't do stuff like that. If you don't score this time, you're cut from the team. There we go, Wilt. I was kidding, by the way. I wouldn't actually cut Wilt from the team, but he got blocked on a terrible layup animation by Gilmore, and he almost missed that dunk. Wilt, what are you doing this game? I think Wilt's just trying to make things interesting. He almost missed that dunk. He got blocked on that terrible animation earlier. I don't know what's going on with Wilt, but at least we're playing well right now. Wilt, I swear, you better keep on scoring. You better not miss in the post versus Jason Terry. What a huge slam by Wilt. Ever since getting rejected by Gilmore, Wilt has been on fire. Wilt, get your revenge. Get your revenge on Artis Gilmore, man. That should be an easy bucket. It is an easy bucket. And this guy's out of here, baby. See, that's what I'm used to. First quarter rage quits. I know I said that was the final game of the video, but that game was literally less than three minutes long. So let's play one more real game. If they quit super fast, maybe I'll play one more after that. But I don't want this video getting too long. We've already played four games. We've gotten four wins. Will Chamberlain has been great and I'm having fun, but I don't want this video to get to like 30 minutes long. All right, here we go. Final game for real this time versus Jay Bats 21 His team's not amazing, but it's definitely not bad. Larry Bird. Carl Towns, Danny Granger too. I think I see Damian Lillard. This guy's got a nice team, so if he knows what he's doing, if he actually knows how to play defense and all that stuff, this should be a pretty good game. And one dunk for Walt Frazier. Wow. I thought that was going to be a layup, but we'll take the and one slam. I'm not complaining about that. 
We gotta play better defense. Let's throw that ball down to the post. Carl Towns is not stopping that. Wilt Chamberlain with the easy layup. Easy buckets are the name of the game, man. We wanna get as many easy buckets as we can. And the best way to get easy buckets is by going defense to offense. Playing good defense like that, getting the rebound, and then running this fast break. Someone's gonna get open, and it's Walt Frazier. Right by the rim. Seven quick points for Frazier. We're going defense to offense again. Walt Frazier, this time for three! Walt Frazier from the corner, and we got a quick 12 to 4 lead. Our defense has been awesome. I feel like our defense has gotten better and better in this video. Actually, I don't know about that, because we didn't play the best defense in that one point win earlier, but our defense... It's been up and down. We're off to a good start this game, but the defense has been up and down this video. Wow, so this guy was hiding Derrick Rose on his bench. I didn't even know this guy had Derrick Rose, but all of a sudden D Rose is in the game. I don't know why he was starting Damian Lillard when he has Derrick Rose. I know Lillard's good, but come on, man. Rose, Rose knows. Wilt's got the rebound, another fast break. Just like I've been saying, man, easy buckets are the way to go. Defense to offense! Wilt with the reverse jam. Why is my game lagging? I have no idea, but I do know this guy quit. 18 to six, another first quarter quit, man. Playing defense will do that for you, man. Ladies and gentlemen, I really hope you guys enjoy this gameplay. My first time running fives with an all pink diamond starting lineup. This really was, this really was a lot of fun. This lineup is super OP. Just wait until Galaxy Opals get here. It's crazy that in a few months, pink diamonds are gonna be super common. A lot of you guys are gonna have pink diamonds and these guys might not even be on the team anymore. Wilt Chamberlain was awesome. Walt Frazier was great in that final game. Mitch Richmond, as usual, didn't miss an open three. This was a pretty fun gameplay man and i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you made it to the end of this video big shout out to you thank you for watching if you haven't already make sure to drop a like on this video for me and subscribe to the channel help it grow we're gonna be at 22,000 subs in no time right now we're at 21.9 i can definitely see this channel hitting 22,000 subs in early october so you guys like the video subscribe turn on notifications help the channel grow and yeah i think i've said pretty much everything i need to say so you guys take it easy. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your days. Y'all stay chill, stay safe, and I'll see y'all again real soon.